It's a very controversial thing also. We must see that among Marxist scholars, because when we say these questions, these are unsettled questions. Very many complex, many contradictions, many discussions are there. For example, when we speak about this Asiatic world, Mars after mentioning my because Mars uh, by mentioning Asiatic mode of production, there is detailed exploration in Mars analysis. Oriental monarchies. Along with that, Mars mentioned about Oriental monarchies, which later uh, as Oriental despotism, by which a bureaucracy, unlike the European uh, this uh, feudalism, unlike European class formation, social formation, the or European state, Indian state was different. Here, bureaucracy, this priesthood, the Amins, all were holding this because the, 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 king, the king was actually seeking advice from the Brahmins. No, no, the Brahmins were the dominant role because they were divine. Even the king was below that. That was not there in Europe. Therefore, explaining these questions, it was not only regarding the mode of production because it was not based on private property, on land. In India, there were just Britishers who brought the private property in land. Correct. There was no private property in land in India. Yes. Mars was correct. We must understand that. Mars, because of the historical context, Mars never came to India. He based on the reports and the analysis that we, we got from India, and the, going to the British Library, because of his ingenuity, because of his vision, he could understand that the mode of production that he is analyzing in Europe, it is not applicable to countries like India. Therefore, he formulated a new, uh, he called the Asiatic mode of production. Instead of understanding and developing it, what has happened was that, as Engels' book question came, it was not discussed. Similarly, it was only Einstein, it was casually, otherwise, if that, if that, uh, that manuscript was lost, what will happen? Anybody will know that. Therefore, this, this question was there. But another issue was there. After Lenin, when this uh, uh, NEP came, and uh, as part of this, what is called this uh, catching up with the West agenda came, and those things came, then the state became bureaucratic. The Soviet state, because bureaucrats became a major role there. Bureaucrats had a major role. Because of, uh, during the uh, in the, the during the war community, that period after the 1970 to 21, many veterans died in the war, in the war against with the imperialist forces, and because of the revolutionary task, many communist candidates died. So gradually the state leader, the state was taken over by bureaucracy. That was there, we must see. And the NEP was a setback. I mean it was a it was a what is called retreat, a retreat. going a retreat. It was a going back. So this bureaucracy also came into being. Therefore, there was a comparison that you know Soviet Union was half Europe, half Asia. Therefore, this mass criticism of Oriental despotism, this Oriental monarchy, like thing was applicable to such analysis also came in Europe. So this is applicable to Soviet Union also. That is why, to my knowledge, it is to be, I am just mentioning to my reading. It is in that context that uh, Stalin, uh, according to the uh, direction of Stalin, uh, the Leningrad discussion means that is prolonged discussion on many ideological questions. The, 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 that uh, debate is known as Leningrad discussions. So, according to the direction of Stalin also, it is important that this Asiatic mode of production concept itself was taken up. From, this, from what is called documents and from official discussion. Now recently, if you go to economic and political weekly, you will get many articles on Asiatic mode of production. You go to the internet, anyone can search the internet. Many, many serious articles on how Asiatic mode of production is linked with the Indian caste system. And why the communists failed to understand this question, all these Analysis are coming from independent Marxist scholars who have no allegiance or connection with any party. While CPM, like I have already said that uh, this is what I already said, Irfan Khabib. Irfan Khabib's scholars, they were followers of CPM. 
they immediately, when Soviet Union abandoned, they abandoned. So this is what the Muhammad Shankar explained in detail regarding how the, what is called this historical, how the stage theory, etc. As if it is a master key for all societies. Marx never said that this stage theory, that is from primitive communism, <laughs> then slavery, then feudalism, then capitalism, this is not the thing in other societies. That is a misconception that the stage theory is a master key for all societies. Communists don't accept, do, do not uphold that. This against dynamics. Similarly, there is no iron law of history. There are some people are saying that there is an iron law of history. No, there is no iron law of history. So we should be very uh, concrete on that question. We should be what is called. We should say that every phenomenon, every everything is constantly changing according to the ordinary situation. Therefore, there what happened there, or what what was the formation there, it was not here. And Mars actually explained that in terms of Asiatic mode of production. We are also not going into the details here because we have not made any serious study on that question. But we are only mentioning that Mars referred to an Asiatic mode of production and it was in the context of the caste question in India. And the related state formation here, the domination of the Brahmins and the priest cl priestly class and the bureaucratic state and the absence of private because here the everything was held by the this caste system and therefore the these the tillers of the soil the the workers they were not entitled to land because they are not entitled to because of the caste system so all these things are to be understood